Hi there, and welcome to the Connecting Kitchen. I'm so glad that you could join us today. I'm here with my cousin, Gunda. She's married to my husband, Ron's cousin, Frank. Right, and they're visiting uh, us. They're here from Hamburg, Germany, or thereabouts. Yeah, Hamburg, yes. Yeah, so you can tell us where you're from. It's a, a small village near Hamburg, uh, and it's called Oldendorf, and that's where we live. And we came to visit all the cousins of my husband in Rochester first, and now in Charlotte. And we're so excited to have you here. Thank you. We're yes. excited. One of the things that uh, Gunda and I have in common is that we both love to cook, right? So we've yes. been wanting yes. to cook together for a long, long time. time. And so now we finally have the chance and we both like healthy foods and exotic foods, exotic foods with lots of spices and flavors. And she is going to share one of her favorite recipes with us today. So why don't you tell me a little bit about the recipe? Cause I know it's special. It's a rote linsensuppe. It's a red lentil soup. That's what she said, right? Yes. Maybe you can teach me how to say it. <laughs> Ro rote, rote, linsen, linsen, suppe, suppe. Got it. Oh, rote fine. Linsen, it's suppe. a great job. Yes, yeah, right. red lentil soup. It took us a while to figure out what linza was, but <laughs> linsen suppe. Yeah. Mm. So we got the linsens as lentils. Yeah. And we had a good time at the Asian market today. Yes. Right. What did you think? Oh. I loved it. So the fresh vegetables and the, you know, all the spices and all the fruits and it was great. Yes, yeah, just loved big it. packages yes. of spices and she likes Korean food in particular. So yes, we love that. Big bottles of gochujang and, <laughs> and chili powder. Um, really, it's, yeah, it's overwhelming. It's great. So it. what I like most about this recipe is that she often makes it with her daughter Isabel. Yes. And I love that you make it together. So they oh, cook together you. all the time, which is like me and Ari. But this recipe she's talking about just changes your mood and brings some magic into Feels your good world and cozy. It helps in any situation of life if you don't feel good, if you're sad. If you're just freezing, we live in a uh, part of Germany, um, it's, it's cold, cold and rainy and you know, and we, we think it has magical power. You're in charge today, which I also love. So we have to slice the garlic and uh, probably... So how about if I slice the garlic? Yes. Oh, and we have these wonderful spices here. I always love this. Yes. Smells so good. The mm. colors, right? This there is Kreuzkümmel in German, or a Kumin, genau. Yes. And this is garam masala. And this Which is the same. And this is chili powder. Chili powder. So we got that. And this we all know is turmeric, because it's bright yellow. Yeah. But you call it curcuma. Curcuma. And we sometimes call it curcumin. Yeah. Same. Okay. All right, so we have these beautiful spices. We're gonna add some vegetable broth. This is maybe the star of the recipe. Yes, rote linsen. These are our red lentils, right? And what were you telling me? They're good for you. They're healthy. They have minerals in it and a lot of and protein. Stuff. Yes. Yes, and of course there's fiber in them and yes. The lentils have magic all their own, yeah. right? They're the magic beans, just like Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, so you have already chopped some onions here, which is nice. Mm -hmm. We have uh, coconut milk. We have lemon juice. Yes. And we have um, whole tomatoes in the can. In the can. In the can. Yes. Your English is wonderful. No. Yes, none of you want to hear me speak German because I can't. So I'm so grateful that you have been speaking English. I really appreciate it because then we can communicate. But we also share this language, the language of cooking and food. And of course, I love the way food brings people together. Yes. Yeah. All right. So what, what do we do first? Some oil and put the 
uh, onions and the garlic in it. So okay. we have to slice the... How about if I do this and you can... Here, I'll turn this on for you. Yeah. There's the oil. Yes. We use some avocado oil. One, one of the really great things about this recipe is um, it's very fast. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. Okay. And you can do it sometimes at 10 o'clock in the evening, Isabel says, oh, let's do some soup. We don't call it rote linsen, so we just, we just say, let's do some soup. And we know what we are talking about. Oh, I love that. And that's such a good point, too, because so many people struggle every day with what they're going to make. Yeah. Right? They think they have to whip up something different every time. But when you find something that you love or that is magical, right? Yes. Then you can just do it all the time. Make big batches or whatever you want. Okay, so we always like quick. Quick is good. Do you have a... something to stir uh, with? Yes. Yes, of course. I like it from wood. If you okay, have I some... have a wooden spoon. Yes. Don't be shy. I don't have everything, but I have lots of things. Kind of vage, no? Yeah. Oh, no scale. Oh, that's right, so tell them. Yes, I uh, wanted to scale the... Uh, to weigh it. To weigh it. She kept saying, the vaga. where's the vaga? I'm just trying to prepare, and then after a while I just said, what's a vaga? Maybe I have one for you. And it's a scale because in Europe they do everything in grams and by weight. Mm -hmm. And so when I said, I have no vaga, I have no scale. Yeah. Oh, you looked at me. <laughs> what will we do? Yes, we always use it. But we figured it out. We did. We converted grams to cups and we're all set to go. All right, let me get you your wooden spoon. So in goes the garlic. Um, the onions, love onions and garlic. Don't miss anything. No, no waste. Two to three minutes. Okay. A little bit difficult is to don't let it burn. Yes, <laughs> right. So in goes the cumin. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of that. And there's the turmeric, curcuma. Mm -hmm. See, I'm gonna learn yeah, some, German. some German. Yes. Okay, and then in goes the chili powder. Oh, that looks good. So we mix the spices in with the onions and the garlic. Yes, and now we have to put in the Tomatoes. Tomatoes. More tomatoes. Tomatoes are so good for you also. So these are whole tomatoes that you just break up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I squash them a little. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. You know what would be good in there? I have this okra over here that we grew in our garden, but we're not going to do that today. But that would be good in the soup too. Oh, coconut milk. Yum. And now I have a lot of fluid. <laughs> fluid. And yes, liquid. Liquid. And now we do the. In go the lentils. And you make it look so easy. I love it. <laughs> it is easy. I know, but I can tell that the, you spend a lot of time cooking. It's just very the, And the preparation is, is, is the most important thing is the preparation. It's all the work. Yes. And if preparation is a lot of the work, and then it's fun because you're doing it with somebody else. So you have a conversation while you're chopping, and you don't even realize that you're doing it. Right. So it doesn't feel like work. No. And then it's the cooking fun. is, you don't
don't do the cooking. The cooking is done by the stove, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So what else do we have to do now? Nothing. That's it. Yes. Okay. We have to taste it, and now it has to it's sit uh, for a while. Yes, to, uh, 25 minutes. It has to a slow cooking. You know, like a little bit bubbling. Yes. Not too much. You want me to tell you what that's called? It's a simmer. Yes, in English, simmer. It's simmer. simmer. But, yeah, it has to simmer a little. But I like the way you describe it. It's bubbling. A little bit. Yes. Calm. Right. Not wild, you know. Yes. So if you do pasta, then I learned the must water must be wild. You know, oh. Like cooking like you know really wild. Yeah. Then you put the pasta inside. So and this is just a little bit. Okay. So the soups simmer. I like yes. it. Okay, good. Yay. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, when our soup is done, we're going to add a little lemon juice when it's done. Yes. I have to taste it now. Then I do probably a, what do you call it? A oh, little bit sugar. A just pinch. A, little, a yes. pinch of sugar later. Okay. And probably a little bit of salt. And this is, we have to taste just, and then we decide to do a little bit sugar and a little bit of salt. Okay, until it's perfect. Yes, but you said that when you cook with your daughter, they both kind of... She likes a lot of lemon, and I'm doing not that much lemon. <laughs> so that when she does it, she tries to sneak in a little bit less. When her yes. daughter does it, she tries to sneak in a little bit more. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't tell your secrets. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay, so we'll be back. So our Rota Linza Zupa is done. Fertig. Fertig. Done, finished, and we're going to give it a try. Yes, yes, it smells yes. so good, and we've been tasting it along the way too, so we already know it tastes very good. Mmm, I love it. Wunderbar, sehr gut. Yeah, maybe you can sign us off, say goodbye from the connected. Goodbye, kitchen. everybody. Thank you for having me today, and it was a great pleasure. Oh, thank you. I loved having you. Okay. Soup's on.